Hello, today we will be making a rotel casserole. Um, all you need is your ground turkey or ground beef, sour cream, cheese, taco seasoning in a pack, ground cumin, parsley flakes or real parsley, chili powder, your rotel, garlic, cream of mushroom, and your tortillas. You can also use Doritos. But like that, if you have ground beef, of course make sure you drain that unless that's just something you like. Me personally, I would drain it though, just for health reasons and health cautious. With that excessive, that's too much. But anyway, this is not health class. You <laughs> can Okay, we're back. When it's done, it's ready. So the next thing you want to add in Oh, you can, you can start adding your seasoning. I almost forgot I was on the video. It's about to start sprinkling. <laughs> You're going to take a teaspoon of your chili powder. teaspoon of cumin. Well, actually, we're going to do a half a teaspoon of cumin. We're going to do half a teaspoon of parsley. One teaspoon of garlic. Your onions. And look on the pack, on the back of the pack of taco seasoning that you're using. Whatever amount of water it says. To mix it with, that's what you want to mix it with. The one I'm using needs two thirds of a cup of water. We're going to add that cream of mushroom in there in just a second. I just wanted to get this all stirred up. Okay, I've already put in the can of Rotel. And I, when I open up my cream of mushroom, I always like to stir it up first and make it a little creamy in the can first so it won't be as hard to get it to blend. And just keep stirring that till you can get it creamy consistency and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Got it all mixed in. I added just a little bit more garlic and I actually added garlic powder just to give it a little more taste because I taste it to make sure it's, you know, it's what we want. Yours should look like this by now. At this point, you can turn your stove off. You just want to heat that to get everything melted and combined. So the next step, let me bring the camera over. I'm going to bring it this way. This is the pan I'm going to be putting it in, a deep dish, kind of like a pie pan, but it's deep dish. Okay, give me a second, guys. I'm trying to adjust the camera.
Okay. First thing you want to do is spray the bottom of your pan. Get your chips. Layer the bottom, how, however much you want to layer. Depends on who's eating and how much meat. Take your meat. And you're going to layer it. Then the next thing you want to do is, if you have, sh if you're using shredded cheese, then of course layer your cheese. But we really like the taste of this block cheese. And you can use any kind of shredded cheese. It's up to you. It can be the Mexican blend. It can be Colby Jack, Monterey, cheddar, mozzarella. It, teach its own. Whatever cheese you like and use as much cheese as you like. Some people like it cheesy. I'm kinda in between. Sometimes I like it cheesy, sometimes I don't. And you're just gonna repeat that step. You're gonna lay it right back on top, then your meat, and then your cheese again. I will be back once I am done. Okay, I've been back. And since I was doing one little thing different, uh, as you see, I was using block cheese through my layers, which I ended up with three layers. But I felt for presentation purposes, I'm going to go ahead and use my shredded cheese for the top. Just because I think that just looks better than having sticks of block cheese. That's all you have to do. It's your choice if you want to stick black olives on it. I mean, this is really endless. I mean, you can do whatever you want, how you want. But, of course, I'm not going to do black olives because, like I said, I'm making it more of a roll tail casserole. And it's all in one dish. So, as of now, you only have to bake it for maybe 20 minutes. 15 minutes, 15, I'm going to say 15 to 30 minutes, bake it in the oven, not completely close to the bottom, but maybe second or third level from the bottom, and you could choose to put foil over it for half that time. I would not start it out with foil, I would end it with foil, but you can start it out with foil, end with foil. It's your choice, and actually, yes, I would start it out with foil. Because that way you can get everything heated and get it melted. And then you can take it off the last 5-10 minutes. That way it can get its browning. So that's that's all. I will be back when it's done. And I'm just sprinkling a little parsley for presentation purposes only. So I will be back once it's done. Thanks for watching. This is the finished product. Fresh out the oven. I'm going to probably let it cool for about 5-10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes and then I'm going to dip right in. You don't forget you can serve it with salsa on the side or uh, sour cream with some lettuce. Ideas are endless. Thanks for watching.